Well, you know, Susan and I, we always love to get feedback from you. And I have to say, a moment we had with our moms here was a very popular one. It certainly was. You guys uh, let us know on Facebook. And both of our moms, of course, spent the morning with us in the studio. We cooked together. We cleaned together. <laughs> and, of course, they told you guys some of our dirty little secrets. Uh -huh. We want you to meet the ladies who really kind of shaped us into who we are today. This is Boots. This is Terry's mom. And this is Carol, my mom. Thank you both for being here. We're Welcome. so excited. Look, that's us in 20 years totally. right there. <laughs> totally. I look at myself in the mirror all the time and go, gosh, there's my mom staring back at me. All right, we have to know Boots. First off, how did you get that nickname? Oh, gosh, it's been tied on to me for many, many years. Love it, love it, love it, love know. it. Okay, well, tell us what Terry was like growing up. Um, she was pretty good, uh, but she had two older sisters that kept her in line pretty good, too. She's sitting up straight. I love how she's sitting. She's like this. <laughs> oh, look how cute. She's adorable. Where, where was she's this adorable. mom? What, second birthday, I believe, uh -huh, right? Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, see, that's where I got my, my, my eating sweet tooth right there. She gave me the whole cake. The whole cake. Right, right. How, how about Carol? How about Susan? Now, come on. She wasn't all that perfect. <laughs> Actually, Susan was real easy child to raise. She was very obedient. We re rarely had any problems with Susan. See, I told you. Uh, just fun loving, fun loving, <laughs> but very high maintenance. Oh, I knew very that. Very high maintenance. Somehow. Oh, I everybody's knew that. thumbs up in the studio. <laughs> Very high maintenance. I mean, every pageant, every everything. She wanted to be I in everything. I don't high maintenance anymore. Oh no, yeah, she, she's no, still no, high maintenance. I feel I sorry for her husband, Sydney, <laughs> but I'm sorry, Sydney. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right. So, so Carol, how about an embarrassing moment um, in in her childhood that that she said, "Mom, if you ever." <laughs> Yeah, uh, not too many embarrassing moments, but she she liked to do. If you came to my house, a group of people, you're gonna get a talent show. <laughs> well, okay. I had talent you're gonna have a talent show in my house. Uh, she would. Uh, Susan, I feel bad, but she always thought she could sing. <laughs> Poor Susan. <laughs> And we didn't want to tell her that she couldn't. So and she still can. She, she, she joined Aww. a little singing group with her little friends, and I tell you, she couldn't sing. And we kept thinking, all right, turn up the volume a little bit when the Susan's turn. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Isn't that a shame? But you know, that just but wasn't her calling. Me we supported her. We went to all the talent shows and right. everything. Right. I had but, my little hairbrush. Yeah. All righty, I have to know something funny about Terry. Did she do anything embarrassing or funny growing up that you're just like, oh my? If anybody knew. Oh, yes, yeah, she had a little friend down the street. Uh -oh. <laughs> he would come down and he would talk and talk and talk and talk. One day I got so mad at him, I said, Benny, please go home. <laughs> <laughs> but you were pretty good. You were never in the house with him. I had to tell him to go home. Oh, <laughs> that's how you got your talking? I guess so. <laughs> All right. There is a lot more embarrassing moments in that, so thank you, Mom. <laughs> that was a good Just one. Just being kind. All right, I want to know about any special qualities. Did you always know that she was going to be a success? Yes, I did. Yeah. She was, uh, she's always been very outgoing, mm -hmm. and uh, when she makes up her mind to do something, she's going to do it. Gee, I wonder who I get that from. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, she kind of bosses us around here, too, uh -oh. I understand. I bet she does. <laughs> no, not at all. She's the sweetest, truly the sweetest. I mean, you have raised a beautiful, beautiful daughter. Well, well you've, you've both you. done a great so. job, actually. So, Carol, I mean, given the story about, you know, the singing and the dancing, clearly you must have known that Susan was headed in this direction. We did. Uh, from a very young age, she was going to come home from kindergarten, started in kindergarten. She She'd come home and go in her room, close that door, whatever she could find that looked like a microphone, it could be a brush, it could be anything. She'd be in there just talking and gabbing and gabbing. I said, she's going to do something in communications. So there you go. She's, she's, <laughs> she's followed that path all the way through. Yeah. Well, you know, we could, of course, because you're a mom, sit here and talk to you all day. But first of all, um, so Carol, what do you think? Um, Viewers at home, they, they see a certain Susan on TV. Is that the Susan that you see at home? Same Susan. She's, she doesn't change. She's just, the personality is the same on TV as it is at home. She makes you laugh. She's just, we've had a lot of good times together. Aww. We really have. But she's the same. She's the same person. Boots, same how, about, how about Terry? Is she the same? <laughs> Only she changes when she goes to the hockey games. Oh, oh. what does she turn into? Oh, she's a monster. <laughs> Every 
Everybody, everybody turns around and looks at her, you like, know. Like, is that Tatum's mom up there? Yes, yes. That's the lady on TV. <laughs> She's mean. <laughs> Then be fighting words. You mess with that baby on the ice, right? Oh my gosh, that was so it much was. fun. It and was. you know what? I what was really neat about our moms is like you mm -hmm. and and me. I mean, our relationship and how much we love each other. Our moms instantly bonded with each other as well. It must be in the blood. And get this, they came wearing the same outfit. Oh, I, I know. I mean, it was the weirdest thing. We do it all the time, but they came both in yellow. Yeah. It was like, really? I know. It was kind of creepy. It was kind of creepy. But you know what? It's that synergy that we all have. Yeah. So I yeah. loved it. Yep.